In this video we're going to look at question 9 and 10. Question 9, you are saving to buy a boat and you deposit $185 at the end of each month for 3 years at an APR of 2.1% compounded monthly. What is the future value for this savings arrangement and then how much total interest did you earn? So let's do the first part. What is the future value for this savings arrangement? So what I'd like you to do is make sure you've printed off the formulas for chapter 4 and pick what formula is going to work for this question. So what do we know already? What do we know? Do we know that we have a deposit of $185 and we want to figure out what that's going to be right after so many deposits of $185. Does that make sense? So see if you can figure out the correct formula to use from the formula sheet. How about deposit needed where we calculate the deposit needed? Trick question. No, because we already know the deposit, right? <laughs> what are we looking for? We have the deposit so we can plug that into the calculation. We're looking for what the balance is going to be after a certain number of deposits, right? So we're going to use this one. Balance after T deposits equals deposit times this over R, right? So um, first of all we've got to find R and T so we can use the formula and we need to what we need to do is get the special monthly interest rate R, right? Now R is going to be the annual percentage rate divided by what? Because it's compounded monthly, when you have monthly you get a monthly interest rate you've got to take your annual percentage rate and divide it by 12, right? So we're going to take our um, 2.1 percent which is 0 0.021 that's what it is, divide that by 12 and what do we get? Point zero two one divided by 12 we should get uh, 0 0.00175 and then what's 1 plus R and what's T? Did you get 1 plus R? So hopefully your 1 plus R is 1.00175 and hopefully your T is um, and by, by, T is how many years? 3 years compounded monthly so there's going to be 3 times 12 compoundings, 36 compoundings. So in any case, please press pause and do this question, then check the video. I'm going to do it really fast. Okay? Press pause and do it, then I'll do it really fast. Okay, so I hope you've tried it. Um, again, the formula we need is we need the balance after uh, 36 deposits, is what we know. We need a balance after 36 deposits. Um, and it's going to be equal to the deposit times 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 so that's 185 times 1 plus r is 1.00175 to the power of t to the power of 36 subtract 1 divided by r right divided by r 0 0.00175 calculate the top and bottom and you should get um, one two point zero one nine one one six nine three all over zero point zero zero one seven five and when you calculate that you should get um, to the nearest cent 
dollars $6,868.07 $6 to the nearest cent rounded up, right? Now, um, so what is the future value? This is the future value. And to try and help you understand this, what's going on here, I have added another question. How much total interest did you earn? Can you answer that? How much total interest did you earn? You kept putting in $185 a month. The interest rate wasn't zero, it's 2.1%. You're getting interest on that. What's the total amount of interest at the end? Well, I'll show you how you can get that. To get the total interest, we made $185 of a deposit 36 times, didn't we? If you times that by 36, how much money did you actually put in there? So that would be 6,660, right? And if you, so that's the amount of money you actually put in. This is the future value you get. And um, if we just subtract, that would give us the amount of interest we earn altogether, right? So we'll just take our six eight six eight point zero seven and subtract six 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 zero. Uh, anyway, sorry, just trying to be quick here. Six eight six eight. Point seven, point zero seven, minus six 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 zero. So, interest two hundred eight dollars zero seven. So this is the future value and the interest earned. It would be two hundred eight dollars and seven cents, right? So question ten: At your child's birth, you begin contributing each month to a college fund. The fund pays an APR of 3.3% compounded monthly. You figure your child will need $40,000 at age 18 to begin college. What monthly deposit is required? How much total interest will you earn? We'll start with calculating the monthly deposit. Please look at your formulas and try and pick out the correct one for that question. So which one's going to, what are we looking for, what do we know? What are we looking for? What do we know? What monthly deposit is required? Start with the question. Okay. And we have a formula here, deposit needed, right? Equals goal times R over this, right? So that's our formula. Press pause, do the whole thing, and then check your answer. I'm going to do it really quickly. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. So the monthly interest rate is going to be the annual percentage rate divided by 12 or 0 0.033 divided by 12 or 0 0.00275 okay so that's r 1 plus r will be 1.00275 and what's t going to be do you get T? 18 years times 12 months, 216 compoundings altogether. Okay, So we're going to put a certain amount of money into the bank 216 times and it should end up being $40,000 with this interest rate uh, overall. So deposit needed equals the goal of forty thousand dollars times r which is zero point zero zero two seven five over one plus r one point zero zero two seven five to the power of t to the power of two hundred and sixteen minus one and if we put that in the calculator We should get 110 over 1.00275 to the power of 216. Then subtract 1. Don't forget to subtract 1. Whoops. And on the bottom, 0 0.8097 42815. 
Okay. So then divide, and we should get approximately $135 rounded up. So I get 0.845, so I'm going to round that to 85 cents, right? So deposit needed $135.85 each month for 18 years, and at the end we'll have $40,000. That's with this uh, annual percentage rate. Or in other words, um, basically what we're getting is 0.275% each month. So how much total interest will you earn? Press pause and do that, then I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it now. So just to understand this, I've put this question in, and if you invest, if you uh, deposit $135.85, 216 times, okay, so if you take that, times it by 216, what you get is 29342.65. Uh, approximately, okay? And in other words, you're going to invest $29,342.65. You're going to invest about uh, about $29,000 and you're going to get 40000 So that extra amount you get is the interest. So if we take 40000 and subtract that um, that should give us the interest, right? So that'd be ten thousand six hundred fifty-seven dollars thirty-five cents, approximately. Okay. But of course, what do you got to watch out for? Well, inflation, for one thing, is inflation um, helping or not with your savings, right? Okay.